Hello, it's Sarah. Still working on ATCs, you guys. Um, this the camera's there. It is. Look, it's an awareness ribbon for mental health. Um, I did that one, and I did a little gnome. And I'm trying. I'm looking at the camera to see. And here's a perfect example of not using the right grout color because I really think that if I had chosen the darker, which I was afraid I would lose the beard, um, it would look better. I don't know. I'm going to do another one today. I'm going to change a few things. Um, I played with doing the background with the circles like this, so let me come in. I thought, you know, he's a gnome, he's in the woods, it's cute, and, you know, not my favorite, but I'm glad I tried it. Um, his hands kind of disappear with the background color. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to stick with the design. I kind of like the way I did the beard. I might try a white beard this time. Not sure. So I'm going to do another one of these. Um, I love, this is something new that I got. This is the um, Van Gogh tile. It's just a, like a blue violet. So I did his hat with that and glitter for his pants all right and then here's the this is the van gogh tile i just wanted to really utilize it for a whole background and i did this mental awareness ribbon um sorry mental health awareness ribbon is green um you know when i was looking for a background color because this was green i thought perfect so i haven't painted the backs yet or signed them also just to mention that um Mental health is um, something that we really need to keep an eye on as well. We go to the doctors for our physical health a lot, but we don't always go for our mental health. And I want, I'm trying to um, remove the stigma around that. I've had issues with my own mental health as far as anxiety and depression go. Um, we have addiction in my family, and um, I do believe it is a, a, it is a mental illness it is a disease so um, just be aware of that so that we can stop the stigma around it and people can ask for help we should have more compassion um, and love um, because we're all here we're all the same really aren't we um, all right and then my angels so I had shared that I had drawn out these little angels this was the first one I did and I kind of decided afterwards the mirror that I have is really thin this is the mirror that you can get at um I think I got this at Michael's over in the like I know a um not AC Moore AC Moore is not here anymore um Hobby Lobby has like a whole bunch of different mirror and sizes of mirror and they have projects that you can do with mirror which is really cool but this is so thin compared to the, the like even the average glass tile it's at least it's like probably almost two times thinner if not more a little more so it's just you know I love the idea of making an angel with mirror because then it they're faceless and they don't have any skin color or anything and I just think that's the kind of angels that I <laughs> picture um, so and also I used a tiny little ball chain on here I just wanted to pull the red over and I used a gold ball chain here to kind of I don't know and then I glued on this wing so I didn't give her a wing and tile I used E6000 or Gorilla Glue or some type of glue to glue on one of these um, this isn't actually a Tim Holtz one it's very similar um, but it's a little more hollow um, I have them I, I tried out a bunch of different wings um, and I have a bunch of different ball chain in different colors and sizes but it's just that if you're using like see look at this little gold one this is very very thin kind of gauge compared to this one um, you know to use it in a project is really cool because you know I have I have colors why not right um, but see, here's the Tim Holtz wing. It's like basically the same wing, just that this is solid. And this is like, this was kind of more thin, lighter. And I like the, the uh, color as well. So after I made her, I thought, well, let me switch from the mirror 
and I did just grab a flesh tone for my flesh color um, but I could do a brown one I could do all different kinds I also decided to make her wing out of tile as well instead of um, using this you know I considered it but I thought let me just I just cut some silver mirror um, foil tiles I did go up a bit in the size of the ball chain as well but it's still a lot lower than especially this one I still I think I kept this one little I think I used the same gauge that I used with the gold for her but um, oh and I just got this turquoise glitter tile and I couldn't resist so this one's funny I don't know maybe in the comments share if you think that there would be clouds in a night sky I think there's clouds in the sky all the time but I didn't realize that like you don't see the clouds in the night sky you would see stars so I should have put a few stars in this one um, but this one makes sense um, she's a little smaller and um, this is such a simple little project too it doesn't take a lot of uh, cutting eh, not really um, so anyway those are my latest four I tend to do these in fours I only have uh, I may only have two I have to put a, I'm going to paint the back of this and put a hanger on it because I really want to see it on the wall. It's not my best, like it's kind of wonky in some areas, but it's got a lot of texture. It's got the ball chain. It's got, it's mixed media. It's got the mirror. I love putting mirror just as an extra flash. The black and white checks for the contrast. Eh, I just want to get a hanger on it and I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I think in my bedroom, I might put the hanger, I might have it going this way above the TV um, yeah so I have that to do um, what else I think that's it I'm gonna do like I said I want to do another gnome and I do want to do them in a Valentine's theme so we'll see maybe I'll uh, share that one next all right you guys that's it thanks for watching